Well, howdy, beloved, and you other folks. I'm Max Stevens. I buy old records. Uh, Got to let you know, though, what's going on with my situation. No, it's nothing like what you're thinking, dirty-minded suckers. No, um, back on about February 17, uh, during the snowstorm, I decided to take a walk in my own backyard. It was beautiful, pristine snow. Looked as smooth as some great smooth thing. Sometimes my uh, abilities for lingu linguistics just abandons me. So I walked around out there, feeling one with nature, enjoying the, uh, and it, that's cold for North Texas, uh, three or four degrees Fahrenheit, which is really cold in Celsius, or is that centigrade? Well, it looked really smooth. That far under the snow were a couple of big sticks or something, and I uh, caught it with my left foot, went right down, heard my knee snap. And well, that was no good because that's the same knee that I destroyed about uh, four years ago, foolishly trying to exercise with a gymnasium membership. Took a while to get out of that. Had to have the meniscus repaired in Argentina that year. Nice cheap operation. $55 for the MRI, $1,800 for the whole operation. That ain't bad. If you get hurt and you can go down there, get it done. The guy that did mine looked just like Droopy the dog, the uh, cartoon character was a great guy. He had trained, though, uh, doing his meniscus surgery with the Miami Dolphins. They're in Florida. He knew what he was doing. He did a great job. But he said, be careful. You'll injure it further on down the road at some point. Man, the guy was a, a I guess you'd say he was some sort of prophet. Oh, hold on just a second. Records. Okay, now I can officially take this off my taxes as a record video. So anyway, on my way down as I'm falling, I'm thinking to myself, oh, and you put in whatever expletive uh, that you desire, pepper it liberally with blasphemies, uh, uh, doubts about the, the knee's parentage, etc. Then I hit the ground with a nice crunch, and the snow wasn't so baby smooth and perfect anymore. So I got into the house. Man, that thing was hurting. So. I got out my pimp cane. You've seen it, I think, uh, I think you've seen it in a video recently. It's a uh, nice little uh, expandable cane that has a nice leopard print. Bought that in an antique mall. It was probably made in the 1970s, but anyway. It's a nice pimp cane. It was working pretty good. But my goodness, uh, oh, last week or so, It got to really hurting where I'd, you know, and I'd try to walk on it without the uh, cane and I was feeling a little cocky. Nope, 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 don't do that, you know. And uh, so felt like, you know, a couple of corkscrews and a, and a knife were going in. I'm rambling a bit, but I'm not on pain pills. Uh, I don't like those things. So anyway, I eventually went to the doctor uh, first part of this week and he said, uh, nah, nah, stay off of it. You're going to, you know, they, they made another appointment for an MRI and uh, me being not Mr. Insured here in this great country, one of the massive uninsured people, we're working on that. So I'll get that done. We'll find out. But now, except for yesterday, when I went out and found those great records, with my lovely wife driving me, uh, I haven't had any activity. It's been really, really, really slow. But yesterday really thrilled me, gave me a, a feeling of wowness. You'll see this in, the, I believe, an upcoming video where uh, I got a good lead, went out, found a bunch of good 45s. There they are. Story on that's coming up. So we're probably going to cut to one a week for right now until I am literally back on my feet. All right, so uh, I'll probably do a few videos there in the office. People are wanting me to do uh, videos on cleaning records. Maybe I'll redo the How to Pack 78 records without using a potato camera. That was an early one. And, uh, but anyway, we're probably switching over to a once a week thing. So watch them, enjoy them, 
and uh, I'm going to heal up. Uh, feels great right now, but I'm not going to test the thing yet. I'm going to keep the crutches, do my business, uh, and not overdo it. Because I don't want to have to go through a big operation here in the States. Maybe I can just get that done down south if need be. Or maybe I won't need an operation at all. All right. Love you long time. Catch you later. Bye.